guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I am sharing a linen hallway closet organization and declutter. So just about two years ago, I completely renovated and made over this linen closet that is in my upstairs hallway. This was the first closet in my closet diary series that I made over. And this video is actually one of my most popular here on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that one, I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Basically this hallway closet was set up like a standard builder grade bedroom closet. It was essentially worthless. It was basically a bunch of unusable space. So I used a very budget friendly Ikea closet system to do a DIY makeover on this closet and it made a huge difference. I absolutely love it. It's worked very, very well. But like I said, it's been two years since then, since I've actually really gone back and did an overhaul organization. So I am gonna be following that KonMari method of pulling everything completely out of the space so I can look at everything I have, assess all my belongings, let go of what is no longer bringing me joy or getting used, reassess how I have things set up and organized in there now, change what's not working and keep what is. If you are new to my channel, my name is Annie. I love everything cleaning, organizing, and home decor related. So if you have that in common with me, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. All right, you guys, we're gonna jump into some linen closet organization. All right, you guys, here's an overview of what my closet was currently looking like. Over the past few months, I hadn't been keeping up with putting everything exactly where it goes. I was kind of just throwing things on shelves in here. This could definitely be way worse, but for me, this is pretty out of control, so it is time for a reorganization. So first things first, of course, I am pulling everything out of the closet. I think this is a very important thing to do when you clean out a space. It is a key point of the KonMari method of decluttering. I want to start with a fresh space to organize. So here is everything that came out of that closet. I pulled everything into my bedroom and I'm just gonna start sorting through it. So I chose to start with all of my linens and pillows. So I moved all my linens and pillowcases, towels, whatever up on my bed and I am just sorting through them, making sure I touch and look at everything. If it's something that I haven't used in the last year or so and don't foresee myself using anytime soon, I am letting it go. Left corner of the screen is my donate pile. My pillows in particular was something I knew I needed to start decluttering. For the most part, I no longer buy any actual full-size pillows. I just buy covers and rotate those out. I find that to be so much easier. All right, and now I'm gonna start organizing all of my linens back into the closet. So I use all of these drawers specifically for linens. So on the top drawer, I am putting some hand towels and pillowcases. And I love that the bigger drawers are still big enough to put some smaller blankets in. So I put all of my smaller little fleecy throw blankets in the bottom one. All right, and now I'm moving back to finishing, decluttering, and organizing the rest of my stuff. So here's all of my Bath & Body Works hand soaps. I'm just reorganizing them and making sure they all fit in their little storage crates. I am decluttering a few of my reusable bags. I can't imagine I'm the only person who starts to acquire a ridiculous amount of these. These are all storage containers that I previously had around my house, reusing things that I was already using in the closet. And then I went and grabbed a couple of things I already had from elsewhere. When organizing 
organizing any sort of things on shelves or in closets, I always like to put the things that I reach for the most right at eye level so I don't have to dig through or reach around anything else to get to them. And then to make sure I have the maximum amount of free space in my closet, I am also making sure that all of my spare beds are made. So I have two extra guest beds in my house and neither of them had the bed sheets on. So I went and made both of those beds. So that helped make sure some extra closet space was freed up. I also only keep one set of sheets per bed in my house. This also helps open up organization space and keep things streamlined. And then of course I ended by giving the closet a really good vacuuming. And here's a look at my declutter pile. So I have a few things that I am going to donate, give away, a couple of things. I also need to go return to Target as well. And now I'm just gonna give you guys a little visual overview of what the organized closet looks like. And then I'll jump into a mini vlog style tour for you guys. Now that I got all my ducks in a row in the closet, I'm gonna give you guys a brief little overview tour. So all up at the top, I've got my unused throw pillows. And then on this middle shelf here, I wanted to put things that I am most likely to grab for. So just my most used extra blankets. I've got some half used candles and the infamous collection of Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I've got some extra tissue boxes. And then back here is still the same when I first set up this closet. We've got the plastic bag storage and my mini little ironing board hanging up. So I would say overall the most functional part of this closet are by far these drawers. So I've got two smaller drawers up top and two bigger ones on the bottom. Up top here, we've got just standard essentials. So all of my hand towels are over here. In the middle, we've got some pillowcases, pillow covers, and then we've got seasonal hand towels and throw pillow covers that I don't grab as often. Down here, we've got some extra bathroom things, bath mats, shower curtain, towels. And then these are all like smaller little fleecy throw blankets. I had so many people asking me how I fold all of this stuff. And honestly, I don't necessarily have a rhyme or reason how I fold these, but I can tell you what seems to work. I think instinctually we just fold things in half. Um, but if you go about folding everything in thirds, it kind of just works out. So try folding your stuff in thirds and see what works for you. And over here, I've got my basket of all my reusable tote bags. I always grab for those if I am running an errand or even traveling. That is my overflow of my hand soap. And I will let you know, I made a point to put seasonal hand soaps that just finished. So we've got fall and Christmas, since I am not gonna be reaching for those anytime soon. So I put those ones more out of the way as opposed to the ones right in my view are all like spring, summery, neutral ones. Down below, I just have my massive stock of toilet paper. I used this bin that I was not currently using in my office to put some open rolls in, and then we've got some unopened overflow back there. And then on the bottom, I am very happy. I got the floor completely cleared out. I don't feel like I have enough things to store where I have to put them on the floor, so I feel like that's a pretty good thing. I've just got this big bin of just kind of extra things. So I've got like a heating pad, I've got my massager, I've got my iron and steamer, and then just some other random things I keep in this closet. 
but they're all wrangled up nice and neat. If you guys were motivated or inspired by this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button down below for more organization and decluttering just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.